been a year of like a lot of things like reboots. We've had a lot of, uh, you know, big cinematic universes. We've had a lot of celebrity dramas, but we've also, also, also had a lot of movies we talked about the whole year, a lot of movies. And uh, I'm excited to see where 2024 comes through and what we get because a lot of these movies have been very excited about. And I want us to talk about what we think will be our favorite movie, our most anticipated movie for 2024. And that leads me to our feature story of the night. Let's get it. First off, everybody, happy 2023, end of 2023. Hello, 2024 changes, new beginnings, new lives, and just like, you know, everything's everything's going to be great in 2024 because you know what? It's a new year. It's a fresh start. And everybody gets happy about that, right? You make, make your make your things that you want to do and find out where you're going to go. But 2024 is a different change in the entertainment industry because, again, we had the strikes this last year. So a lot of stuff got shut down, slowed down pushed 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 but a lot of projects are still moving you might be like what's going to even come out in 2024 we talked about a lot of stuff right so i'm going to break this down very quickly and we're going to talk about what we think is our most anticipated movie from all of our group for 2024 now just some quick highlights ready for this here we go i'm gonna do a selection style guys here we go so February 2nd, Argyle. That's pretty cool. Madam Web, February 14th. Bob Marley biopic coming out on February 14th. Dune 2, March 1st. Kung Fu Panda, March 4th. Ghostbusters Afterlife 2, March 4th, or March, March 29th. Godzilla vs. Kong New Empire, April 12th. Civil War. That one looks kind of interesting. It's about like the, the world kind of going apart because of politics. Fuck the world sometimes. That's happening. Fall Guy, Back to Black, which is the uh, uh, April Winehouse biopic. That sounds uh, biopic. That was really cool, too. Uh, if, that's a good Ryan Reynolds movie. Spirit probably like it. Furosa, Garfield, Kingdom of the Planet, the Apes, Ballerina, Bad Boys 4, Inside Out 2, Quiet Place 3, Despicable 4, Big, Big Me 4, Twisters, the spinoff of Twisters coming, Deadpool 3 in July 26, Borderlands, the spinoff of the video games coming, we got Craven, we got Beetlejuice 2, September 6, Transformers with Chris Hemsworth being Optimus Prime, that's crazy too, Saw 11, Joker 2, Venom 3, Gladiator 2, Wicked 1, Karate Kid reboot with Jackie Chan, and, and you know, and, and, uh, uh, I was uh, what's what's uh, well, blank got his fucking name. I have drank too much tonight, guys. And Mufasa and Sonic Three. A lot of projects moving forward, and uh, we've talked about a lot of these movies. We talked about a million of them the whole time because we love a lot of comic book shit on Cruise Control. We talked about a lot of these. We've also talked about like Transformers, how that's changed. Beetlejuice Two with Michael Keaton coming back. Deadpool Three. We've talked about a fucking lot on this show. And uh, for me. I'm breaking it down. There's a lot of movies more than I thought this year, guys. More than I thought. I think most anticipated. I, I, mean, I want to say I want to say Deadpool three. I know Sabrina will say Deadpool three, but I might go with Beetlejuice two, just because it's been a long time, guys. Michael Keaton coming back in that suit, that black and white suit, the pinstripes, kicking some ass again. And I'm just interested to see what Tim Burton does, bringing that whole team back together. What a fantastic cast! And to me, that's probably my most. I love Gladiator. That's also a huge one. Gladiator too much fun. Ridley Ridley Scott making that happen. But you know, there's a lot of projects, and I hope they're all going to be fantastic. Some of them be stinkers. We know that gonna happen but we've talked about all these in one year and they're happening it's exciting on cruise control and we're monetized now it's fucking nuts i'm excited sabrina you've been here the whole time and i know what you're gonna say but what is your most anticipated those are a lot of movies coming out are you surprised all those are coming out this year and uh what's your favorite you know we'll give you both you guys you both let's talk about this what's your favorite movie coming out in 2024 what are you most excited about okay i'm gonna let jake i'm gonna let jacob go for go first because he has a good one Okay. Eggers, Eggers, Nosferatu. Anything nice Eggers does, yeah. <laughs> there you go. We have not talked about that on cruise control before. So there we go. It's the first time cruise control, everybody. Why don't you tell people what it's about? Uh, it's a remake of Nosferatu. Okay, well, that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's Dracula. It's Dracula. It's, 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 you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Black and white Dracula. Magic. I'm the cool. queen. Queen knows. I'm sure she's like. A, a, I want to hide behind this mic here. No, <laughs> just want to just want to hide behind this mic here. You know what I mean? I'm surprised yeah. that you have not mentioned my tiara. Um, obviously Deadpool for me. Obviously it's gonna be Deadpool three, hundred percent. Um, I uh, I it's they I'm. I, I'm glad they pulled it up and I'm, oh, hey, hey, okay, hey. Um, they pulled it up and I'm like, uh, can we pull it up further? Like, I'm super jazzed. I love, I'm just, I'm just excited to see what they're going to do. But more importantly, it's my favorite superhero of all time. Ryan Reynolds is spectacular. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with him. And also, really fucking funny, really fucking irreverent, lots of cursing. I'm in for Deadpool. 
Yeah, Deadpool 3 is going to be fucking fantastic. I think so, too. Um, I, 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 w- I wish Peppy had an opinion, but he's been telling me right now he can't decide. He keeps going back and forth. I'm like, Peppy, you got to give me something. Let's all take a sippy, sippy drink. I know, Peps. Just tell me to drink up to my ask you, but... Mm. <laughs> GR, you've been here since since we started, man. You've heard a lot of these projects coming forward. What are you most excited about for 2024? Is there a movie that tickles your innards you want to see more than anything else? How do you feel about this lineup for 2024? I, I'm going to go with one that nobody talked about, Do the second half of Dune. Yeah, Dune 2. It's a big one, too, coming out March 1st. That, that to me, is – I love the original Dune back in the day before you were born, but um, – I love that, but the second one, the remake, um, believe it or not, was actually better than the original. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, they, the remake. They gave you yeah. the background material that the original didn't give you. <clears throat> That's I, I why the first half was so slow. And beyond beyond doing that, I have to go with, with Serena and Deadpool. Well, outside of Dune, yes. Yes, okay. All right. Now, Jordan, first time on Cruise Control, what do you think? What's the most anticipated movie for 2024? Well, being a Marvel fan and also being a big X-Men fan, I got to go with the other two and say Deadpool. I mean, he was in the Weapon X program. He's bringing back Wolverine. I am a big Hugh Jackman supporter of Wolverine. Dude, I love that guy since the original 2000 X-Men. I thought he's the best Wolverine ever. I don't think you're going to replace him. And having him in the yellow suit is what I've been waiting for since the original. So I got to go with Deadpool and all the guest stars. Now, I just hope that I haven't heard, but I hope there's an appearance by Josh Brolin's Cable because I love Cable. And I just hope he's actually coming back. You're a fan of Venom, though. Also, Ghostbusters, though, Jordan. Does Ghostbusters uh, yeah, make you excited at all? And Ghostbusters is up there because after I seen the trailer and I realized they're going to go with an original kind of storyline, we're through the nostalgic stuff. I got to say, yes, Ghostbusters would probably be close to number two or number three because I am a big Transformers fan too. I am. I'm an '80s baby. I had them all. Oh yeah. I had I had them all, and but I don't think Chris Hemsworth is going to be Peter Cullen. I just don't think his Optimus Prime is going to be up to par. So that's why I'm not too excited about it. Yeah, but yeah, there, there's so many good movies. That Venom, I like the first one. Not too many people did. I did. The second one was I thought it could have been a lot better, especially since they had Woody Harrelson. I thought they rushed it. But, yeah, all those movies are up there for me. But I, I still got to go with Deadpool. I, yeah. I, you know, I, I've been saying, too, I'm like, I, I love Beetlejuice. I'm so excited about that. But you're right. We've been talking about Deadpool for so long. <laughs> but it could be a big letdown. Who knows? But there's a lot of movies coming in 2024. The big wrap-up, everybody. What are you excited about? Tell us in the chat. I got to go because it's, it's the end of night. I haven't looked back. Who won the hot takes tonight? I didn't even look here. Who won oh, the hot takes? Oh, just, Sabrina got 100%. Sabrina won the hot oh, takes. Yeah. No uh, yeah. Yeah. Usually, usually there's Thank more split. I'm sorry, GR. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jordan. You know, um, no, I'm sorry. don't be I terrible. We lost Ron. Ron, I'm sorry. Ron had some problems. He couldn't get back in the program, so unfortunately, couldn't be here. Ron left, but we brought Jacob in. Jacob is Ron. Yeah. So look, it's Robert Eggers. And he did the lighthouse, <laughs> and then he's remaking Nosferatu, you and missed, it, yo, it's going to be out of control. Willem Dafoe's in it. It's gonna, yeah, you yeah. missed your Willem opportunity. Willem Dafoe's fucking that was, awesome. That was three topics ago, Willem sir. Willem Dafoe is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Queen. I, but there's a lot of movies coming, everybody, in 2024, and we're all excited about we're excited about the year we've had on Cruise Control, and we're excited about you joining us here. 1,010 subscribers right now. That's pretty fucking awesome. Last time I looked, 1,010. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to refresh one more time. It might be more. Who knows? It might probably be still 1,010. Who freaking knows? But I'm happy you've all joined us for this path to monetization. Uh, 112. 1,012. 1,012. I'm, I'm happy you've been here for the whole time to join us and grow with us and build the channel and uh, and and happy to share a part of our lives with you because we couldn't do it without you. And um, 
2024 is coming right now. And as we talk about those movies, we'll be talking about those movies the whole time too in 2024 as they come out reviewing them, talking to you about them, and just having a great year together and growing as human beings and becoming the best people we can and having fun with what it is, entertainment. And that's what we bring to you every night, entertainment. And that's what we're going to keep doing because we love you and we couldn't do without you. In 2024, there'll be some changes. There will be changes because with where the whole process is going with the YouTube channel, there'll be things that'll change, but it'll grow up with the best program for you. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being with you. And I thank all my guests right here, Sabrina being my lovely co-host for the whole year too. I uh, appreciate Jordan coming for the first time and GR, first, per, first subscriber day one, being here and joining us on the channel. And every night, day in and day out, being here before he was on his show, before he wasn't here, I appreciate Peppy too, because Peppy's amazing, right Peps? Yes, sir. And I appreciate him too, man being here and you know what everybody to everybody out there that's been here for the whole time of joining us along the way cheers to you all thank you so much happy friday you, you part of cruise control yo player thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live and if you are able to join our patreon please join because the pep star needs more snickety snacks because i'm hungry holla back love y'all